what is going on guys oh man i'm so happy man i'm about to cry like for real because yo i finally made black wings the way that i always dreamed of first of all a deck that just never breaks and bro i'm not i'm not even capping right now okay i'm serious the deck does not break anymore man. <laughs> i just test like 20 different ways okay and we can also you on on the stream live can also not live well, this is not a new stream i'm just saying i'm gonna show it to you in this video okay that this deck does not break anymore and it's not even final yet bro okay but the thing is i, I don't believe i might gonna post a list on patreon um to show you like the raw version of what it's like a prototype version of what i'm going to take to bologna but i don't want to send the I post the final deck list yet because you guys understand right like you gotta be you gotta be uh uh protective uh with the spice but um yeah today i'm gonna show you the full potential of the zombie vampire bro i underestimated the whole horus engine plus vampire zombie so much man because if we mill black wings with the vampire zombie bro it's a beautiful day especially if we mill vata or any level two monsters it's always something it's always something all right let's check this out Okay, for example, this is this this now we don't even have a single black monster on our hand right now, right? The only thing that we have is just some Horus cards. And now I'm going to show you what the fuck this is. Okay. <laughs> this is just stupid. <laughs> Imagine uh here, okay. We're gonna get the gold sarcophagus. And we're gonna draw a card. If we like if you top decking Simun with Amzet. And you have another black monster in hand. This is already Merry Christmas. But let's act like we're not going to use Simoon, okay? We're just going to discard also Simoon to send another Horus monster. The Happy, for example. And now we're going to special summon these two. I cannot even pronounce this one. What is this? Whatever. Okay, now right here we're going to go into a zombie vampire. Activate the effect. Send. Now, the mills are important. If we can mill like this, bro. Like Telemans does. Bro, Merry Christmas. Jamal, Vata, Zeph, uh, Zudri, and uh, Droll. If we can also have like Zephros, it's even better. But alright. Next up, we're gonna special some Vata here. And then we're gonna also special some of the Amzadi, uh, Amzadi. And go with the Amzadi and the Zombie Vampire into uh, Lil Knight. Use Lil Knight's effect to banish one of your opponent's monsters in the graveyard so that once we summon um, the. Uh, this Peter, we can have the monster negate protection for Nibiru. And next up, we're gonna activate Water's effect to send Zephyrus to the graveyard along with uh, a level 2 monster. Special summon Batwing Dragon. Now we can chain uh, Shaman's effect to special, not special, but uh, get Zuji to our hand. And now we can actually start to normal summon. Effect, Zuji, get Vata to our hand. Special summon Vata. Use Vata, uh, use Vata and Zudri to go into uh, Burial Storm. Use Burial Storm's effect to send Shanga. Now use Burial Storm and Blackwing Dragon to go into Dispater. Now we can activate Zephyr's effect to bounce back the Gold Sacrifice. Why? Because um, if we decide to destroy the whole field with our Blackwing Assault Dragon, we want to keep the Gold Sacrifice in our hand because otherwise this card is going to get destroyed. And then next turn, we can just activate it, special summon three of our Horus monsters, go into attack uh, Bell phase, and then main phase two, go into um, the Coach King and just burn our opponent to death and draw three cards. Like, what the fuck, man? All right. <laughs> oh, this is just crazy, man. Now we can special summon Zephros, banish the two monsters to summon a Soul Dragon, and this Peter is going to special summon. Special summon Burial Storm again. Now we can use Burial Storm and the Zephyrus to go into either a second Assault Dragon or into Full Arm Master to also have the Sharnga life in our graveyard. All right. Next up, I mean this this is this is this is not even a single Black Monster on our hand. It's just the Zombie Vampire milling insanely. Now imagine having three or four more cards on your hand. Like wow, isn't that crazy? Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to another hand. Alright, this hand, for example, is the worst hand that you can probably start with, right? You can decide to stop playing, like, 
start with the prosperity and I would suggest though to start with the Mzadi always first because if Mzadi gets ashed you can just continue playing with the prosperity here and then you get the gold sacrifice and now you can decide if you want to draw a card or not for some reason man I, I feel like drawing that one random card is better than actually using prosperity so I'm just going to draw a card and we got Shanga uh, still nothing that we can nothing yet we, that we can work with but check this out so because we cannot draw any more of prosperity we can just discard it with the king sacrifice and send another monster to graveyard and then we can actually because we have two shamals our first one we want to go here right here into baron de fleur just like that okay that's already like free baron de fleur that's insane and now we can special summon our uh, Mzadi and the Happy. and if you want to go into the zombie vampire I would suggest to also like if you have any bricks like right now two two shamals on your hand are worthless like the, at least one of those so you can just discard another one to make your deck even tighter so that when, you, when you're milling with zombie vampire you don't want to build anything uh, worthless all right and now also act with shamal's effect to get the black feather because you don't want to mill that one either now we're going to go into a zombie vampire act with his effect and just hope that we can get like vata we're going to lead at least one vata if you can get vata anything else we can at least finish on little knight and baron de Fleur. and look at this what do we mill we actually milled Zephyrus, uh, Zudri. That's fine because we also milled uh, Zephyrus, so that's pretty cool. But if we would have milled Vata, it would have been even better because then we can just use Vata and Black Feather Women and just go full Rombo combo. Now we can actually use Zephyrus effect to bounce back the Black uh, the Zudri, the normal summon Zudri, get Vata to our hand, special summon Vata, use its effect. Go uh, trigger Black Feather Women, special summon Vata, uh, trigger Shamal, get Chinook to her hand. Go here into Boreal Storm, send Shanga. Oh, we already have Shanga in the graveyard, so we can send another level 2 monster. Go here into Dispater, use Zudri and the Zombie Vampire to go into Little Knight. Banish one of your opponent's monsters. Special summon <laughs> a Soul Dragon, and we still have Dispater's effect. So we want to have a black monster on the field so that we can trigger uh, Shanga. That is insane, guys. That is insane. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a hand that is not even a brick. Like, even if you don't have the uh, Horus engine right now. So we don't, we don't even have Mzadi. So that's this is actually like a bad hand. But you guys know what we can do with only Assault, Synchron, Shanga, and Vata. Or even Shanga and Vata alone is enough. We're just gonna send discard cards that we don't need. Special summon here, Happy, and then we can go here to Baron de Fleur. And now we can potentially just play with Vata and Assault Synchron. Go into Dispater, um, Dispater, uh, Blackwing Assault Dragon, and have Barustom on the field so that we can use our brother Shanga in the graveyard to pop. So that is already like insane for. A hand that it was supposed to break but we can try to gamble a little bit go into zombie vampire mill some stuff and this time our our luck wasn't on our side so we're just gonna get here uh, simoon but you can still use simoon and vata to go into like axel Get the Shang out, and now you can go into a full armor master or bird dispater, like whatever you guys want. But yeah, I could have also tried to go into Coach King and then draw three cards, right? That's also another thing that you can do. But you got so many options, man. So many options. So that's really insane. All right, I got even more. Look at this hand, for example. Yeah, let's just. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Discard cards that we just have double. For example, like if we have double ash, we can just discard it, man. It doesn't matter. Here. 
Go like this. Mill. Bash some in the salt synchron. Bash some in Zeddy. Boom. Baron de Fleur. Whirlwinds. No problem. Now we're just gonna play with those two. Told uh, Blackman Dragon bounce back to Gold Sacrifice so we can have it for the grind game. Real Storm sent a level 2 monster. Now we got this Pater. Soul Dragon, Spash Summon. We can keep here the Blackwing and Boreal Storm, or we can go here into Little Knight. That is just insane. <laughs> yeah, another hand. I mean, already, if we have Small World, this is insane we, because all the Horus Engine can ultimately give us a uh, Simoon. But let's say we don't want to play with Small World, we just want to play here. Are oh, we going to draw another Sacrifagus? No problem. Oh, we're going to draw Shamal with the feed, uh, feed one card draw. Perfect. So we're already winning. We are already winning. And before you, like I said, before you even go into your zombie vampire to activate, its effect, uh, before you activate its effect, try to make your deck, like, get rid of unnecessary cards. For example, use a small, small, small world right now to go into like a Zudri, for example. And then activate Zombie Vampire. Mill some stuff. Beautiful. We just mill Assault Synchron Zephyros. So we can just bash some in those three again and go into another Baron de Fleur. Bro, I've never seen Baron de Fleur that many times in my life before. And now we're just gonna go full Rombo combo, man. Look at this. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Trigger, trigger, trigger. You guys already know those combos. They're not new. This is just beautiful, man. This is just straight beautiful. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright, the last one that I have for you is another hand that is supposed to be a brick. Right? It's supposed to be a brick. But, like, the thing is, we actually want them to ash our MZ Because usually we're going to have, like, uh our engine to already be able to play right but if they do ash it it's cool we're just gonna start with any other card but in this situation right now we are relying on the horus engine which we usually do not but in this times we do boom 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 by the way i just picked out like the worst hands possible i didn't pick any great hands those are the worst hands that we where you, you where you don't even have engine usually like this not i mean this is now becoming really good but yeah you guys understand i'm gonna show you in a minute some hand testing you look at this so this time we milled what did we mill? we milled vata and zudri and i forgot to activate shamal's effect we're supposed to activate shamal's effect to uh, make the deck even tighter is that even word tighter yeah, whatever yeah here, yeah, boom, boom, boom. And we haven't even normed yet we, because we special summoned Zudri with the zombie vampire. Now we can activate Vata's effect. Go into Blackwing Dragon. And now we can actually normal summon Zudri. Before we go into our Dispater, Little Knight, so that we have the Monster Negate. Oh, this is insane. This is better than. Fucking Manadium, whatever. And now we have access to two Petal Wurvins. Look at this. Look at this shit. Bro, I don't know what to say, man. You guys, I feel like you guys understand what I'm, what I'm showing here. <laughs> Bro, I thought that our deck was already the best consistent deck with the Bistils. But it just became ridiculous consistent ridiculously consistent yeah check this out bro you can just i mean you don't really right now i don't i wouldn't necessarily discard zephyros yet okay but if you for example draw like a better normal summon which we just did <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> now you can actually discard your zephyros oh bro Beautiful hand. See, shit does not break anymore. This is this is insane, guys. This is insane. 
this shit. What do we draw? Crazy. Crazy. Here. Here, for example, now it's it's up to you guys. You can try with the Imzadi. You can try to play with the Imzadi. Or you can use the Prosperity. Like, either way, with hand like this, you probably, you're going to lose against the Simple Ash on any of those two cards. Honestly, no, you can... You know what? I would suggest to start with Prosperity first. Because if Prosperity gets ashed, you still got the Imzadi. You still got the Imzadi, baby. Alright. <laughs> yeah, start with Prosperity. Bro. See, usually those hands will break really bad, man. Really, really bad. Now they're not breaking anymore. Beautiful. Great, beautiful. And small world is now even more crazier than ever before. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a really bad hand. It's not. It's just not. Bro. You just discard anything. Anything we don't need, just discard it, man. Just discard it. Here. We don't even need small world. Discard it. Discard it. Beautiful. Here, if you get Ash right now, that and your opponent has to Ash it, we're just gonna start playing with... Oh. Oh, bro. Small world right now is saving right here. If you wouldn't have had small world, that would have been Shiza. But yeah. You guys see. You guys understand, right? This is the most consistent deck ever, bro. It does not break anymore. Bro, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play, play test this in the next locals. And then now I'm, I feel like I'm ready for Bologna. Bro, last week, if you would have asked me last week if I was ready for Bologna, I was not. I was not, bro. And now I'm actually excited for Bologna, bro. I am. Let's fucking go, man. Let's go. All right. Take care, guys. <laughs> Woo! Joe Patreon.